Hi everyone, this is Anne Sky, and I'm so excited today because I get to share with you a new type of template they're going to be offering here on Download and Print. These are the new Photoshop templates, and what's great about them is they'll allow you to customize every single color of the invitation designs and make them your own. And right now what I want to do is I have the new Lovebird template. I have it open in Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop, you can get a free version of it at the link below this video. It's a free 30-day trial, and you can actually try this and play with Photoshop without even paying a penny for it. So I encourage you to try that. So now what you see on your screen is I have the new Lovebird template open in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to customize the colors and change the text within the new Photoshop template. So you'll see over here I have my layers and you'll see left side and right side and that denotes the right and the left invitation here. If I expand this folder you see a text layer that controls this text here and you'll see an artwork layer and this controls the left bird, you'll see the left bird, the right bird, and the branch. So let's say I want to make this left bird a different color instead of red. So if I click the left bird layer and then double click color overlay, it brings up this layer style panel. And you see the little red box there, that's telling me that that bird is currently in red. If I double click the red, it brings up a color palette. And I can pick any color, and as I'm picking colors, you'll see over here it's showing me how it looks on the invitation. So I'm going to pick an aqua color bird, click OK and OK again. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the bird on the right. Same thing, click the right bird layer, double click color overlay, see the red square to denote that that bird's in red. Click the red and it brings up my color palette and I'm going to make this one kind of bluish color. And you can play around with this and get it exactly the way you want. I'm going to click OK and then OK again. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to change the color of the branch. Double click color overlay. I'm going to change it from a chocolate brown to sort of a wintry gray color. Now the last thing I wanted to show you in this little tutorial is how to change the color of the text. So to do that, I get my text tool. I come over to the beginning of the E in Elizabeth and you'll see I get my little cursor and I can actually highlight that whole line. And up at the top here, you'll see my, my text. So you see the font here, 16 point. And this is just like Microsoft Word. It's also over here on this palette here. But if I click the red here, and let, I can then you know, say make the text blue. And you'll see the text is changing color over here. But let's say I want to make it the exact color of the bluebird. To do that, it's super easy. I just come over to my bluebird with my mouse, and you see I have this little eyedropper. And I can just click here, and now my bird and my text are the exact same color. Or let's say I wanted to make it the aqua. I can click the aqua and make that the exact same color. So that's super easy. The last thing that Photoshop makes really easy is the line spacing. So you'll see here these first two lines are a little wider than the lines below it. So to change that, I highlight these two lines. I come over to my character panel over here and you see where it says auto? I'm just gonna click this drop down. I'm gonna make that eight point. And you see how the distance shrunk? I can make it the line spacing taller, really tall. I can put it back to where I think it'll look about six point, should match what's below. And if I want to change this from the chocolate brown to a dark gray, I simply click that color palette up there and select gray. So even if you've never used Photoshop before, I think that you will find that these templates preset up for you make it super easy. I would encourage you to download this template for free, try it out, and shoot me a quick email. Let me know how you like it. Thanks, and I'll talk to you soon.